Welcome to our channel. Brad Pitt countersued for misappropriating Chateau Marival funds amid legal battle with Angelina Jolie. Internet calls it nonsense. Los Angeles, California. The War of the Roses between Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie witnessed a recent development as the Troy actor has been countersued for misappropriating funds from Chateau Marival for personal benefit by the company his ex-wife is trying to sell her shares to. The company Tenu Del Mondo is accusing Pitt of using Chateau Marival as his personal piggy bank and spending the funds on projects that benefit him personally. Pitt and his estranged ex-wife have been embroiled in a bitter battle regarding the ownership of their $500 million French winery Chateau Marival, which they bought in 2008. After the dissolution of the former star couple's marriage, Pitt originally wanted to buy out Jolie's stakes in the winery. However, the deal fell through, and the Tomb Raider star sold her share in Chateau Marival to Russian oligarch Yuri Scheffler owned Stoli Group in 2021. The Bullet Train star opposed the deal and claimed that his Mr. and Mrs. Smith co-star ex-wife unfairly sold her stakes to Stoli Group. He also sued the company by claiming they did not have the right to own Jolie's shares in the winery. Now, the wine manufacturing branch of Stoli Group, Tenu Del Mondo, is countersuing Pitt for using the funds from Chateau Marival for personal use, per Daily Mail. They sued Pitt and his company Mondo Bongo, claiming the actor has been spending funds from the Chateau on several personal ventures including swimming pool renovations worth $1 million, a recording studio, a cosmetics line, and a gin brand. They claimed, Pitt caused millions of its funds to be spent on projects that benefit him personally. The suit continued to allege, worse yet, Pitt has diverted the company's assets to his side businesses, which include a recording studio called Studio Marival, a cosmetics line called Le Domain, and a gin brand called The Gardener. This theft has put millions of dollars in the pockets of Pitt's and Mondo Bongo's business ventures and has diverted dividends and loan repayments to them that otherwise would have been paid out to Tenute as one of the ultimate owners of Chateau Marival, alleged the company. They further added, Pitt and Mondo Bongo have turned Chateau Marival into their personal piggy bank, citing that Pitt's activities have deprived them of the profit, saying, they have entered into a series of transactions using Chateau Marival's funds that have deprived Tenute of the profits and loan repayments to which it is entitled. They further claimed that Pitt has made it almost impossible for them to get involved in the winery's operation as his legal battle with Jolie continues in court. Tanut is seeking major damages from Pitt and his company. Internet slams Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt for their continuous tussle. Following the latest accusations, both Pitt and Jolie got extensively slammed by the fans who implored them to stop fighting. Some fans even highlighted the parallel between this case and Johnny Depp's much-publicized court case against Amber Heard. In a Facebook comment, one of the exasperated fans urged, Lord, these two need to stop. What nonsense. She turned out to be everything everyone said she was. Let it go. I'm so shocked by such shocking news, quipped someone else. Another fan hilariously added, just put the both of them in a ring and see which one wins. Someone else shaded Jolie by siding with Pitt, saying, he owns the winery. He can do what he wants with the money. Another social media user slammed the Maleficent actress, saying, she has major issues, anything to make his life miserable. He shouldn't have stayed with Jen, said someone else referring to Pitt's previous marriage with Jennifer Aniston. A netizen added, he can do what he wants with the money it's his or at least half is. Fans also started finding similarity between Pitt Jolie legal tussle with Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. They said, just another Amber. Brad should start taking lessons from Johnny. 